Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Tech. So today we are going to talk about uh, predefined teams with ggplot. And why I said predefined? Uh, well, uh, with function team you could actually create your own team in order to decide every single detail about how your plot is going to look like. But if you don't have time or simply you don't want to deal with that, uh, there are some predefined teams that you could use. And first of all, some of those teams could uh, look a little bit different or exact the same. So don't worry about that. Uh, try with different teams or with different plots. And why are these predefined teams so special? Well, actually everything that you have to do in order to change your team is to add only one line of code for it. So just for this tutorial, I have created this plot in here. Uh, so we have a data frame that is going to serve as a source for our data. Then I have a ggplot function, data provided to it. Then a geom bar uh, with uh, aesthetics, x, y and uh, fill color is going to be based on uh, g. Uh, stat identity, of course, because we are dealing uh, with uh, values, color black for borders, position dodge, and width of our bars is going to be 3. And at the end we have a facet wrap to get uh, multiple plots uh, based on a G. And now the only thing that I have to do in order to add some team to this is to add one more function. Let's go with team gray run it you see small difference or even no difference at all i'm going to comment this let's try another one team bw save it run it okay we have some uh, difference now this frame it's a little bit uh, thicker and easier to notice let's try next one I'm going to make some space. Let's say team line draw, run it. Now our frame is uh, black. Then team light, run it. Okay, we are back at the beginning. Let's try team dark, not dark, dark, this is something to consider, let's use team minimal, run it. And as you see, uh, except of this grid, we actually don't have any background. So if you want to create PNG for the purpose of uh, graphic design in order to include this plot into some uh, other image, this is way to go. Let's try all other teams we have. Let's say team classic, run it. Okay, this is uh, all white with uh, just piece of frame. Now team void, run it. And this team it's uh, like uh, team minimal, just in this case we don't have even grid. Comment this one. And one more team test. Not only that you could use predefined team in this way, uh, there is a way for you to uh, tweak this team a little bit. So there are four actual options and for this purpose I'm going to use team light. Let's, let's run it. In order to provide these additional options, go in between brackets and first option that I'm going to use is base rect size and set it to one i'm going to run it you see now we have no difference at all uh, basically what is going on with this option the higher its number let's say 25 smaller plotting rectangle is going to be i'm going to run this code now and you see how we got our border and i'm going to 
set this to 10 okay this is better now what else I can do with base size let's say two three uh, we could uh, deal with our font size I'm going to run this code and now our font it's too small let's try with seven okay 12 much better with base family we actually could change font for uh, our text I'm going to do Oswald run it better or maybe something exotic it is too exotic but you can do something like that if you like okay and one more option base line size and let's go with three run it and you can see that our grid lines are actually affected by this option so I'm going to set it to 1.5 run it again all right much better so guys that's all for this episode i truly hope that you have learned something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya